Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It is December 8th. It is my husband's birthday. We're waking up pretty slow this morning, um, but you will have just seen me finish off the first bobbin of the last four days of my fiber spinners advent calendar. Um, and I have the other bobbin that I will start. I have all four of the last four days to spin onto that. And then once I have that full bobbin, I'm going to apply them together. Hey guys, you can't really see me. Um, it is dark, you know, it's like 5.30, which is basically midnight if uh, you're in the Midwest in winter. So um, we just finished up dinner. My husband had asked or requested that I make fajitas for dinner, which is one of his favorite meals. So I did that. And now I'm in the car because I'm going up to Dairy Queen and I'm gonna get him a ice cream cake. And that's what we're gonna have to celebrate. Uh, I didn't get much footage today. Not a lot happened, to be honest. Um, we just kind of spent the day being lazy at home. I did manage to get all of my fiber up to this point in the advent spun up. So all four bobbins are full and ready to be plied. Um, and yeah, I didn't even knit that much today. We were just kind of, I don't know, it was kind of an interesting type of day. So I'm gonna go get this cake and then we're gonna eat some cake and then it will likely be time for some knitting. I flipped with ice cream cake, especially from Dairy Queen. Whose birthday present is this really? <laughs> Here 
everyone happy vlogmas day 10 so i do want to jump on and apologize there has been no vlogmas for a couple days now um it is december 10th and it is um the afternoon of the 10th and um my throat is on fire my daughter actually ended up coming down with a fever sunday evening and um, has been out of school so far this week so yesterday and today um, we took her to the doctor to make sure pneumonia hadn't come back she had pneumonia a few weeks ago um, maybe about a month ago but it turns out she just has something viral um, so unfortunately she got past her pneumonia and ended up getting some yucky um, upper respiratory stuff where she has a really bad sore throat and cough um, and she so graciously decided to share that with me. So I've made it most of the last few months without getting sick. Um, so really it was only a matter of time. Um, my husband is dealing with a inner ear infection that we found out he had last week. So he's on the mend. And then to top everything off yesterday morning um, while I was taking a shower, I happened to tweak something weird in my back out of nowhere and completely just spasmed um, to the point where um, I am barely able to walk or stand. So that's been fantastic. Um, I am just now getting to the point where I'm able to sit up and knit. So all of yesterday, um, we will, I will have added some footage from Sunday, which was my husband's birthday. Um, and then all day yesterday, really, I just stayed in bed, um, when I could and slept off, um, my sickness and my back. Um, while also, you know, we got our daughter to the doctor, got her on some meds, um, to help with her sore throat and stuff. So she ended up watching, I think, an entire season of Jesse on Disney+, Plus, um, like 24, 30-minute episodes, so she definitely took it easy all day yesterday. Um, and yeah, my husband was home because of weather, thankfully, um, because there was no way with my back I would have been able to get up and take care of her as well as I would have liked. Um, so he's at work today, and I am, like I said, just just able to make it out to the couch and um, sit up a little. I have pillows propped all the way underneath me. I've been icing and heating, alternating, um, and she is on the mend. She's laying in her room, um, just vegging out. So hopefully tomorrow she'll be back at school and I'll be back up and on my feet and able to go back to work, assuming that um, I don't start running a fever right now. It's just a sore throat. So um, I do sit, my desk is situated in between two pregnant women, um, one of them being my best friend and the other one being a really good friend of mine who also works in my department. And the last thing I want to do is go into the office and sit in between them and share whatever this yucky virus is with them. One of them is due in January, so she has a few weeks left, and the other is in April, so they are both getting to towards the ends of their pregnancies, and I would hate for them to uh, get sick because of me. So, um, yes, wash your hands, everyone. Washing hands is very important. Keeping your distance from people in the sick season, and um, just take care of yourselves. Um, I think... I think I've been way overdoing it recently because my back had been feeling so great. Um, I've been doing a lot, so um, just trying to slow down, take it easy, and um, I've caught up on all of the Vlogmas, you guys, so there's so much Vlogmas watching happening. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that I'm finally able to sit up and knit a little bit, and I'm going to spend the rest of the day just hopefully getting prepared for tomorrow and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program. I have not even opened Advents for yesterday or today. That's how much I am hurting. So um, maybe tomorrow when I get up while I'm getting ready for work, I'll have three days worth of Advents to uh, share with you guys. So 
Anyway, I will flip the camera around for just a bit and show you what I am working on. So here I am all snuggled up on my couch with a blanket and um, I just picked up my Northeasterly again because I am very far behind. So you will have seen me open this, um, the Slub yarn. I, I forget the base name, but this is part of my Sweet Sparrow Yarns advent from a few days ago. So I think I have at least a couple days that I've opened to add to this blanket. Um, so I just finished up with this, I think it was Butterscotch was the colorway on her 100% non-superwash merino. Um, and then I've added in, I forget the name, I think it's, oh gosh, I'll put it down below. And again, if you've watched me open them, then you'll see all the base names and colorway names. But look how fun that is with those little, those little slubs. Um, just lots of fun texture, so that's been really fun to toss into the blanket to see how that works up. Um, here, of course, again is day one and day two, and I put those stitches on hold and went back down here for day three. This was day four, and this is day five. So I'm definitely behind because I will have six, seven, eight, and then Ten, wait, what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I'll have ten that I have need to add after this um, to catch up with today. So I'm falling very far behind. Um, so assuming that I can walk down to my office tomorrow um, and stand enough to wind up some yarn, um, I will wind some more minis to add to my blankets, my advent blankets, and then maybe try to create one of those magic cakes um but yeah so anyway just thought i'd check in with you guys i'm sorry um we missed a day or two but life happens and uh hopefully we get back on schedule soon Hey guys, happy December 11th. Um, it is Wednesday. We are still home. My daughter is still sick. I am still dealing with a sore throat and a very sore back. Um, but 
seriously hopefully tomorrow we can get back to real life because this has just been the worst it's put such a dent into her finishing up the quarter before Christmas and putting a dent in all of my knitting and obviously my work um, so yeah I have orders that have been needing to go out so I do apologize if anyone has been waiting on any of their orders and I have more advent skeins to dye up and then the December mystery club to dye up um, so I'm hoping to get that done by the end of the week um, so I can send those out early next week I know that there is a deadline as far as posting goes um, so I need to try to hit that as uh, soon as possible um, I believe all of the orders are domestic so I don't need to worry about any international shipping um, but you know what sometimes life happens and you end up coming down with a virus and or throwing your back out um, and then you have littles that get sick too so um, I'm trying to make the best best uh, situation that I can. Um, I'm out of breath. I'm, um, I've just wound up a whole bunch of minis um, using Mina Phillips um, little hack tip that she shared um, on her Instagram and she's been sharing on her vlogmas to wind up minis to save her some time. She will stack minis up on her Swift um, five, six at a time and then wind them all into little cakes. So I just tried that out. It worked really well. Um, don't have to fiddle with undoing your uh, Swift, putting a new one on, blah, 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 blah. So yay, efficiency. Um, and I am out of breath because like I said, I've got this virus, so my lungs and my throat are struggle busting right now. But I wanted to share with you the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days of the Lofty Loops Yarns Advent. Um, these will be spoilers up through December 11th, but as this probably won't go up until the 12th, I think we'll be okay. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I will show you the Lofty Loop skeins for the last eight days. So here they are all together. This is Euphoria, which is a really fun colorway and it has been in the shop and I believe there are some skeins in the shop now. This is Olive, which has been, oh no, this is Olive, which has been a really fun, um, very popular tonal colorway in the shop. It's a very pretty olive green. Then next we have Lotus, which is always a shop favorite and my favorite by far of all the colorways. Um, again, all of these will be available as pre-orders if there's not already some uh, ready to go in the shop. This is Divinity, which is a brand new colorway that I just started dyeing. Um, really pretty purples with some specks of blues in there, but just gorgeous tonality in the purples. This is a new fun speckled colorway. It is called Duchess. It is not picking up quite um, as well as it could, but it's a very pretty delicate ivory base. And then it's got all of these little teacup inspired uh, speckles. There you go, a little bit of a better look. This is Petals, which has been, ooh, it's got a fuzzy on it. Petals has been in the shop for quite a while. Very pale pink, yellowy, um, beigey base. And this is Plum, another tonal that I have been dying for quite a while in the shop. It's very beautiful. The depth of colors is just not coming across on camera, um, but this one is so bright and punchy, especially when mixed with some other colors. And then one of my brand new favorites is Forest Pool. So this one was just dyed up for the Advent season. It will become a shop regular, and yeah, I just think it's gorgeous. Um, this inspiration came to me while I was reading a book recently. Um, so I took a quick note and then went back to it and dyed it up later. So I love Forest Pool. These will all be eventually going into my Dust of Snow. Um, I am just getting into color three, so I clearly have quite a ways to go. Um, maybe I'll catch up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my gosh. So many minis. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have my work cut out for me. This is all of my Sweet Sparrow I need to catch up on. 
this is cat sandwich I need to catch up on. And then there are the next three of the Lofty Loops yarns advent to add to my dust of snow. These are going into my um, northeasterly. These are going into my fly true. And that will someday be a hat. And that is some very beautiful yarn from Hawari Bazaar. So, uh, so many minis. Aren't they all so gorgeous though? Hey guys, so I was just gonna show you the third section that I have um, on my Dust of Snow. And I've started watching The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Um, and I don't know why it's taken me so long to watch this because I am loving it. Um, I'm only on episode two, but oh my gosh, this is so funny. Um, yeah, I love, I love a good witty show, so. Um, that is on Amazon Prime, if you are unfamiliar. I think the third season, something like that, just came out. So um, I've got plenty of binging to do. But let me show you the third color of my Dust of Snow. So here is my Dust of Snow with color three added. It's this fun little leaf lace motif here. Um, and this is kind of like a little chevron here, so I am appreciating that each color section is a little bit different. So this is all garter, and there will be garter sections of fade in between. Um, so this has been really fun to work on. The third color is Slick, which is the, I think, only non-repeatable color way of uh, my advent calendar, the Lofty Loops advent. Um, and it's a shame that it's not repeatable because it is gorgeous. Um, but yes, I also wanted to point out, um, hopefully I don't give away too much of the pattern here, but I use um, an app called Knit Companion. And what you can do is load in, um, you hook it up to your Ravelry, and so it will pull all of the uh, PDFs or um, patterns in your library and then you can click on one to save it locally and then once you have it saved locally you can click on it to start a project so I have the dust of snow pattern PDF loaded in here and my favorite part is when you're working you can move this little highlighter strip around so you know exactly what row you're on. And it is fantastic. There's also counters over here. So if you're needing to count rows or anything. Um, but yeah, this thing has been such a lifesaver. And it's on every page of the PDF. You also have this draggable guide if you need it. Um, yeah, and that is called Knit Companion, and it looks like that, and you can find it in the App Store. It's pretty fantastic. So I have all of my current projects in here, and I can just pull them up whenever I need. And the best part of this is it's also on my phone, so if I'm ever on the go and I don't have my iPad with me, um, I can pull up the projects on my phone too, and it will remember where I was. So yeah, just thought I'd share that little tip, and I'm going to get back to my show and work on this some more.
Thank you.